Hi all, Planicide Agent here. Today I thought I'd uh, take a look at the uh, Mini Bull Designs um, Turbo Gnome Alcohol Burner. Um, I've been uh, kind of, I thought about, I've been thinking about getting one of, you know, Tinny, I don't know if you guys are familiar, Mini Bull Designs, he's made all kinds of really interesting uh, alcohol stoves over the years, some really cool designs, and uh, I often thought, I should get one one of these days. Uh, so I, I went out to find his website, and it was gone. And I did a little research and uh, found out that, uh, yeah, it was just getting too expensive for him to uh, to, to maintain a web page. So he just kind of uh, bagged it all in. Then recently I saw a, uh, I follow him on his YouTube channel, um, John Austin. And uh, I decided uh, that... And it, I found the the video, and he said he decided to op sell some of his stoves on an on an Etsy channel. He decided to start up, so uh, I went out to our Etsy Etsy store. So I went out there and I found it. So I went ahead and uh, and ordered it. I think it was twelve bucks plus uh, I think a little over shipping. I think I paid around fifteen bucks all over, but prices may vary over time. But anyway. Um, I just kind of thought I'd have one in this collection. I thought I should since I've got a bazillion other stoves. And it wasn't, you know, it was kind of a unique little design, all handmade. Uh, basically, it's just an aluminum cylinder uh, with the turbo holes cut into it and uh, filled with uh, carbon felt. So uh, I decided to get it, and I'd like to just kind of, I'm going to run a burn test or a boil test on it. Um, kind of a side note, you know, I'll, I'll put a link to this. Uh, this little uh, burner I, I made in the description. Also, I'll put a link to uh, uh, Tinny's um, Etsy store too, which is uh, Tinny's Trash, or Tinny Stash, however you want to say it. But that's its Etsy store if you want to look like. And it looks like he's starting to add a few more items to that store. So if you're interested, I know he's got some... Uh, uh, simmer rings and caps and other stuff for this particular little stove. So, anyway, but yeah, just as a side note, uh, because of this this stove, his the the standard gnome doesn't have any uh, holes in it, these little vent holes, but uh, the turbo does. And when I originally made this this stove out of a uh, aluminum stash or aluminum uh, uh, sealable container. I'll put the video to this uh, on in the description also. But uh, anyway, it uh, the performance just by itself wasn't very good. It didn't didn't really bring water to a boil at any reasonable amount of time. So I thought about um, thought about tinny stoves with the uh, the holes, and I made uh, my own little turbo ring out of the out of a pop can aluminum pop can, which fits in here nicely. And uh, it did increase the performance, which, uh, like I said, I, I'll show you those numbers in the in that other video. But that's kind of where I got the idea for that. Kind of taking a second look on this, I think I'm gonna might make try this again with more holes and see if that makes a difference. So, just created another idea for another video. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, another thing too, this it it fits inside this when you uh, screw it on, so it makes a nice little compact and the reason behind this one was I could store fuel in in it uh, where this one you really can't but it doesn't hold a lot of fuel I don't know how much uh, I'm gonna see if it'll hold an ounce I'm gonna when I set up for the burn test so and I think that's the the next step uh, but anyway yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do a burn test on this I'll set it all up and uh, get back to you Okay, I think I got the burn test all set up here. I actually got a full ounce of fuel in this in this little stove, which is probably a, a good amount, ideal amount. Anyway, I, for a pot stand, um, I'm going to use one I made in a hardware cloth, uh, the smaller uh, squared hardware cloth, because I don't have any of the uh, the half inch style like this. This is all I have <laughs> that. Uh, that Tenny uses. He does sell the pot stands for this, and I did measure out his, which is about six of these squares up. So that leaves, and this is the same height, uh, because I wanted to just test it, you know, kind of all things be equal. Because I'm sure Tenny optimized his pot stands for this stove. But anyway, uh, 
So I got that. So you, this you do have about that one inch sweet spot, which seems to be the, the sweet spot for an alcohol stove. So anyway, so anyway, I've got uh, got the stove fueled up with uh, yellow heat. Got a pot stand. I got the Olicamp uh, 20 ounce uh, aluminum pot, and I got two cups of uh, water, 16 ounces at 60 degrees. So. Let's go ahead and uh, fire this up. This is the first I've run this stove, so. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to, to add a note to this. Um, one reason I hadn't test burned this, I kind of waited to fill this up, is I wanted to get just the, the empty weight of this stove before I put any fuel in it. So anyway, it came out to 0.4 of an ounce, which is interesting, or that's 12 grams, which is actually the same weight of my uh, fancy feast that's made with the aluminum can pot stand instead of the um, steel tomato paste can so equal size all this this one's quite a bit smaller if you're looking for compactness but let's just see how this performs I'm curious myself I I think I've watched videos in the past but some other people have done reviews but I can't remember <laughs> and I haven't gone back to look at them yet I'll probably go back and look at them again after this see what other people did but anyway okay there we go. Get lit. We'll put the pot stand on here. And okay, and we'll start her up. So we'll go ahead and see uh, how long it takes to boil, if it does want to boil, and uh, how long the, the one ounce will, will burn in the little stove. So, anyway, so it's on its way. Uh, let me go turn the lights out real quick, and we'll, I'll let you look at the flame pattern. Okay, there's the flame pattern. This thing really, uh, it does throw out quite a flame. And much better than my other little uh, stove, which is that copper one in the back. But uh, anyway, that's a pretty wicked flame. So I'll go ahead and uh, shut this down until uh, we get close to a boil. Okay, we're getting on up there. Uh... 210 at 541. Um, I'm impressed. This little sucker really throws out the heat. And uh, like we're here. Wow. Five minutes and uh, 53 seconds. That's uh, about half a minute or so faster than the uh, Fancy Feast, which is probably one of the faster ones. So Hmm. It looks like a uh, great, great little stove for uh, you know for the weight. Uh, like I say, the only drawback is that you have to have a separate pot stand. But you know, it's not a deal breaker. A lot of a lot of good stoves need a, a separate pot stand. See, that's always the advantage of the fancy feast. But uh, yeah, really impressed. This thing really throws out the heat. Now it makes me wonder how come. This one didn't perform as well. Basically the same style. It's a wick, internal wick uh, stove. I might have to play with this, see if I can improve the performance on it. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this thing burn out. Still throwing out quite a bit of heat. I think it's just about done. I'm seeing little sparks on the uh, little glowy points on the uh, carbon felt. That's usually a sign, at least with the fancy feast, that it's just about out of fuel. Yep, that's starting to drop, so uh, we'll go ahead and say it's uh, pretty much run out. We'll just round it up to, uh, let's say, eight minute run time on an ounce of uh, fuel. So, wow, uh, I gotta say, that's, uh, I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, <laughs> good job, Tinny. <laughs> It's a great little, uh, great little lightweight stove. So, uh, what else to say about this? I say, uh, where was my timing? Here's some notes I got set up for another burn. Yeah, my uh, fancy feast. Yeah, usually took six minutes and forty-five seconds. Six minutes thirty, somewhere around six forty, is usually what the fancy feast will run. So this sucker is uh, darn near a minute faster. Than the uh, than the fancy feast, so yeah, I'm really impressed. So uh, 
anyway, I can't, uh, can't think what else to say. I've, you know, I've gushed over this stove. I guess that's enough. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.